Hey guys, it's David from TheUnlocker.com and today we have a jailbreak tweak for you. Uh, this one is going to show you how to turn your lock screen into something a little more useful. Um, by bringing in your social networks and your notifications and even the weather directly on the lock screen it makes it a lot more functional and not just a lock screen between you and the operating system. In order to do this procedure, you must be jailbroken. If you're not, please click on the link below to be taken to our jailbreaking page. Um, then choose the device that you have and then the version of iOS that you have and do that procedure there. Once you're done and you have Cydia installed on your device, you can come back to this procedure to continue. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is go to the Cydia store. Then we tap search in the bottom right and type in IntelliScreen. X and it's the number seven one. Then you're going to tap install, confirm, and it comes with a three day trial. Um, so let it install itself. After that three day trial, it is uh, $10 to keep it. Um, so you can decide if you want it after that. Once it's done, it's going to ask you to restart Springboard. Tap that and wait for that to finish. When it boots up, it's going to say, would you like to set up the recommending settings for Intel screen? Say yes. You must unlock your device on reboot. So you can use your finger if this is a 5S um, or put in your passcode. And then we're going to go to settings. Scroll all the way down to you see Intel screen X. Tap on that. And then here we're going to go through the options. So the first thing is to enable it or disable it, which is kind of their kill switch in case you don't want to have it mess with other things, etc. Um, enable unlock screen. Um, you can then choose what pages you want it to have, and you go through all of these and set them up. This is the pages that it's going to have on the home screen um, and the notifications that it'll give you. Um, you can hide some of them if you don't want these to be thing. You just kind of edit and then pull them down. And that's how you hide them. Uh, and then you have general settings. So when you want the lock screen to dim, uh, the lock screen blur or tint, you can go in there, you'll see the difference in options there. You can just play with that so you get it to the way you like. Um, the different labels, whether you want the weather enabled on it, the ticker enabled, uh, the refresh rate on the ticker, uh, the to have it immediately or enabled immediately on lock, return to home. Uh, Messages, so this is kind of just a little bonus that they threw in here, it's called Messages Plus, um, which allows you to do quick reply, like basically reply to a message outside of the Messages program, um, and also quick um, compose, again, start a message outside of the message application. Um, now this is a feature that is in a lot of other jailbreaks that are meant to really replace your messaging app or in, integrate with your messaging app. Th for them, it's just kind of a little bonus that they've thrown in, uh, quote unquote, for free with your purchase. Um, so you can have that on the lock screen or not, or on the Intel screen. Uh, slide enabled, different apps, uh, status bar icons, turn off messaging plus, the thing I just told you about, different settings, um, activation for, com <clears throat> for quick compose, you can make it launch um, using an activator method, which activator is another jailbreak. If you want to check that out, click the link below. Um, and basically it allows you to use gestures on the screen. So three finger tap or a pinch or whatever you want uh, to do different things. So when you have that installed, you can then use this to set any of the actions in Activator to compose a message on the IntelliScreen, like a three finger tap, etc. cetera. Um, so that's pretty much it for the settings. They're very simple. You just kind of go through all of these, go through each of these at least and set those up how you want. And then the rest is kind of just optional stuff to uh, further customize it. Okay, once you set it up the way that you like it, um, you can first get to it from the lock screen. So it now has replaced your lock screen. You'll see that I have all of the uh, my mail information, all my notifications from Instagram, Gmail. Basically all my notifications are there. And then scrolling up here at the top are the ones that I set up. So Facebook, you can swipe through this. Uh, my Twitter will be in here too. It's a lot of Facebook. All right, too much Facebook. Well, you'll see. Eventually you'll have Twitter, you'll have RSS feed if you set that up, your mail, etc. will show up there, I believe. Um, and then weather is right here with the forecast. There's also a little weather down there, which is kind of hard to see. I'm not sure why that's there. This is your forecast as well if you swipe to the right. Swiping again, and you'll see um, these different options here. Now these, for example, I'll tap Twitter, show that this is now just my Twitter notifications. 
It can also show just Facebook, for example. And it even does inline images, which is pretty neat. Um, and then same thing for obviously your RSS feeds, which I don't, oh, I do have some set up. Oh, they're the ones that automatically set up with the phone. Uh, and your mail, etc. Now you can also tap home, brings you your normal home. You can also get to control center like normal. Um, and if you swipe to the left, this will give you your normal lock screen, or since mine is not set to auto lock, it just gives you your home screen. So that's how you get into this. Now besides the lock screen, it also replaces your notification center. So now you can tap through these. ISX will give you the same thing that you saw on your lock screen. Your normal today, um, again, you can choose just RSS, just mail, just Facebook, just Twitter, uh, depending on which ones you've set up, and pull that away. Also, if you pull from the left, down like that, this is a app switcher that it also comes with. Um, so these are your latest apps, oops, um, and they kind of look like the old iOS 6 version it, that your normal is across the bottom. But the cool thing is you can actually grab one and drag it, and it'll open it for you. So that's a cool uh, little added benefit besides the lock screen, also the, the new notification center and the app switcher, plus um, it'll also let you do quick compose for messages as well. So a lot of stuff built in, um, which is I guess why they're trying to be able to justify the $10 price. I'm sure there was a lot of work that actually went into this. Um, so that's it, that's the quick how to set it up, that's the walkthrough. Um, try it out for three days and then you decide if it's worth $10 or not.